YouTube. YouTube, what's going down, baby man? It's your, it's your player partner, PJ. Back up in this thing, you feel me? What's going on? How y'all feeling? Good to see y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? But, uh... Anyway, before I even get into this video, man, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button, you know what I'm saying? Let's get to 5K. Make sure you like this video. Go on like it right now. I appreciate it. Thank you. Make sure you comment on this video anywhere throughout the video. Right now, while you're watching it, after you watch it, just drop a comment for me. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, Go on over there, man. Follow your boy. Same as the channel, Coarsehead Kings. And, and, and go copy a, a, a rag or some patches off of uh, CoarsehairKings.com. You know what I'm saying? So, now that I got that out the way, today, today, we are talking about how I achieve that silky look to my waves. You feel me? That silky, ilky. I know everybody want them silky waves, man. And as course hair waivers, it is possible for you to achieve that silky. You know what I'm saying? That dynamic look to your waves, you feel me? I'm gonna let y'all know right now, today I will be talking about some products. Then and, and just, you know what I'm saying, a disclaimer. These products will not better your connections. You know what I'm saying? They will not get you deeper waves. They will not enhance your pattern. You know what I'm saying? What does that is the brush work and the brush work only. And some combing, you know, but mainly brush work. Aside from brush work and combing, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna talk about a few products that I use that give me that nice, shine, silky, smooth looking, you know, pattern, man, that them, them make them waves pop a little bit, so. Let's get into this intro one time, you already know, and then I'll be back with a few tips, few recommendations on how to achieve that silky look, baby. All right, yeah, so y'all ready to get off into this? Well, <clears throat> before I get into that, let me uh shout out my boy, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I ordered this, this hoodie for my boy, Damn Rico Wavy. You know what I'm saying? Over there on Instagram, had to show some support, and this is the real deal. You know what I'm saying? Being wavy is a lifestyle, you feel me? And I don't know what happened, but don't tell nobody, because when I ordered this thing, they sent me two of them. I don't know why they sent me two, but you know what I'm saying? I ain't complaining. But yeah, shout out to Damn Rico Wavy, man. You know what I'm saying? So. Let's go and get into this, man. So, I know everybody that, man, they love asking that question, how you get silky waves? How do you get your waves to look silky? And a lot of people think that, man, us with coarse hair, you know what I'm saying, we can't get that silky look. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, look at, look, just look at how silky I'm looking right there. I don't even know what picture I'm gonna put right there yet, but it's gonna be silky, man. But, you know what I'm saying? The way I achieve that, first off, Wolf. I know my last video was about not wolfing, but if you want to get that silky, man, especially when you're you're working on your pattern, when you're um, you know trying to achieve that definition and that depth, that's part of the reason my waves look silky because I do have definition and depth that is achieved through wolfing. And while you're wolfing, you wanna you know what I'm saying you wanna work that wolf. That will help you achieve that silky look to it. You know what I'm saying. I'm talking about combing. 
comb and you want to stretch those curls a little bit you know what i'm saying you want to hit with that hard brush because you always want to work that hair that's coming right out of the scalp and the only way to get to that when you're wolfing is that hard brush you know what i'm saying finish off with the medium one thing that's going to get you that silky look after a session is a softy man i like i love nine row blonde softies i feel like these really polish my hair you know what i'm saying after a session i end it with the blondie man and it really gives me that polished look that nice shine so when i unrag the next day or whenever i unrag got that shine that 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 lay to it because it is this helps lay and polish your hair you know what i'm saying this is my preference you can use any softy just make sure it's laying it down but i love blonde nairo uh softies that's just my preference though. all those ways are like really get you you know to that that silky look but also it is the product this is one time where i will talk about products because i really don't like putting an emphasis on products too much because I don't like people to focus on products before brush work. Brush work is always gonna be more important than products, but you will need products, you know, to enhance the health of your hair, to, you know, keep your, your scalp moist and, and, you know, keep your hair moist, keep everything looking healthy, keep everything good. You know, you wanna drink your water, you know, that's first and foremost, cause that's gonna help get you uh, hydrated. But um, I'll start off with a couple oils. I love oils. <clears throat> I can go times where I use nothing but oil. Like, I can go months without using a moisturizer, a pomade. I really don't even use pomade that much, but as of late, I have been using this one prom uh, pomade. I'll show y'all in a little bit, but it's fire, you know what I'm saying? So. I'm gonna start off with some oils, some of my favorite oils I use, and, and they all help enhance that silky look, you feel me? So, we're gonna start off, you know what I'm saying, with that wavy department oil. This oil, very good oil. Don't know what flavor it is, but it smells good. Sometimes, I like this oil, but I'm not really in the scents. And this oil is a little overpowering with the scent, but as far as the benefits, it, it, it really keeps my hair nice and silky, laid, shine nice. So, wavy department oil, man. Then we're gonna move on to, you know what I'm saying, H Times on J. Lou. Shout out to J. Lou, you know what I'm saying. I man, I, I watched a lot of J. Lou videos before I even really got into the wave game like that. That's my favorite YouTuber as far as the wave YouTuber. I know, you know what I'm saying. He he a little controversial, but he say what he mean and he mean what he say, man. And I got love for J. Lou and his oil is fire. And before I even keep talking about oil, speaking of J. Lou, find out your hair porosity because you want to find products that work with your hair porosity. You know what I'm saying? I'm low porosity and how do I know that? Because in this video, right here, or right here, I did a hair porosity test, you know what I'm saying? And I found out I was low porosity, which means my cuticles are not open. They are, are pretty closed. So I need light products in order for the cuticles to absorb any product I put in my hair, you know what I'm saying? So that is very important because that is the only way you would know what products will work for you other than just buying a bunch of stuff and trying it. But to narrow it down and make it your selection a little easier, do a hair porosity test. All right, so those are a couple of oils I use, you know what I'm saying, that are branded, that come from like, um, you know, my guys, Wavy Department and J. Lou, but I also use straight up natural oil you know what i'm saying you got jojoba oil jojoba oil it's really good for my hair 
Gives a nice shine. Very good. I love sweet almond oil. This is also good for low porosity. Everything I'm showing you is good for low porosity because I own it and I am a low porosity coarse hair waver. So everything that I'm showing you is it works for me. So sweet almond oil, very good, very good. But my favorite oil, and you already know what I'm about to say if you know me, you know what I'm saying? My favorite, my number one oil, my go-to, the thing that, you know what I'm saying, have my hair shining, laid, you know what I'm saying? I can use this and this only, and I ain't gotta worry about nothing else. If I had to use one product, it would be grape seed oil. This is my favorite product in the world, grape seed oil. Love it, I love it, I love it. You know what I'm saying? So I recommend you go get you some grape seed oil. Grape seed oil. All right, so those are some of my favorite oils. I do use avocado oil, argan oil, but those are not really my go-to oils, you know what I'm saying? I just use them sometimes. But then we have a couple moisturizers, you know what I'm saying? Recently, I did a C-Made review. This is very good. This had my hair looking silky. Very good product. He is discontinued on the line though to focus on more important things. So hopefully by the time I drop this video, he does have a few more on site and they're $10 right now. So, you know, liquidation sir. Shout out to my boy c -Made KJ. Very good product. And we're gonna go back to my boy, Wavy Department Moisturizer. Water-based, really good. Soaks up in my hair really nice. Keeps my scalp really healthy. My hair is very manageable when I use this. If I'm woofing, low cut, don't matter. This is really, uh, really good product. Wavy Department Moisturizer. All right, so those are a couple of like my favorite moisturizers. Then we're gonna get into a couple butters or pomades, you know. So this butter right here, you've seen this on this channel a few times. Sugar Shane Secret Sauce, 360 Wavy Shane. This is a um, butter, like a butter moisturizer kinda. Hey, but this right here, this is good. I'm talking about all over. You can put this on your face, elbows, knuckles. You know what I'm saying? You can put this. This is just gonna, gonna get you right. Everything gonna look moisturized and, and shiny and silky. 360 Wavy Shane. This is secret sauce right here. She'll be coming soon. He he, he might have whispered in my ear, say he, he got some uh, big plans for 2021. So hey, y'all watch out. 360 Wavy Shane, that's my dog. That's my bro. Then we got this right here. So this is a pomade. And I know I really, like at the beginning, I didn't use pomade at all. Then I wanted to do my crown video, which I'll speak on the crown video a little bit. I cut low on my crown right now to fix it up. And it's gonna bounce back crazy because I've been working the mess out of my crown man i've been working it so crazy these last few days and i will continue to do that and i will show you the whole process from it being low to when it thickened up and how much better it's gonna look by going through some certain steps so i'll show y'all but that's in a later video but this right here this is a pomade no label he sent it to me he didn't have labels at the time but it's bladed lace bl8 ed L8 C E D on Instagram. Bladed laced. Hey. I thought I always thought like, man, I don't need no pomade. I don't. But this right here, this has my hair looking so silky. Nice hold. Oh my goodness. Hey. Shout out to shout out to y'all. Bladed laced. And from there, we're gonna go into my final products I want to show y'all. Once again, Wavy Department. I'm going with the, the 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 bar soaps, the bars to wash your hair. That is my preference. To me, my hair looks very silky after coming off a wash because of these bars. And I, I love Wavy Department. This is a um, 
or orange. I forgot the exact thing, but it's infused with African black soap. This is it. This is, sorry for that squeak. That was my puppy. This is a wash bar. And man, that lather. Oh, my goodness. And then, you know what I'm saying? I do my washing lays, if you know me. Leonidas by Carlton. This is a Brazilian bomb bar, but all his lay bars are, are fire. Yes. Hey, and this right here, like, I, I vouch for the wash and lay every time. You know, miss me with that washing style, man. I'm a wash and lay guy because you leave these in, let them dry in your hair, and man, hair looks absolutely silky after. So, man, that's, that's, you know, I, I really put an emphasis on products in this one because, you know, they're the things that get you that shine, that, you know, lay besides brush work, but brush work is important. Hit those angles, you know, uh, stretch those curls. I get those connections right because like my boy C. May KJ, he just posted it on his story. He said, Y'all boys' forks be looking silky as hell. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, they focus on products and not brush work. Hey, you know what I'm saying? And and that's real. So don't focus on these products. You know what I'm saying? Just, that is not the priority. The priority is the brush work and keeping your hair healthy and clean. You know what I'm saying? But these are some products that will really enhance that silkiness to your waves have them looking real nice you know what i'm saying so you know that's that's pretty much it for this video i really just wanted to show y'all what i've used to get my hair silky hopefully the, uh, certain things can work for you i always like for y'all to experiment and find out what works for you always you know what i'm saying because this works for my hair my hair is not your hair you are the only one that has your hair you feel me so like i said at the beginning if you haven't subscribed yet, why are you still here and you're not subscribed, bro? That's like low key hating though. Like you gonna watch my whole video, then like just go on to the next one and not subscribe. Those are really like, like that's messed up. So go on subscribe, go on like this video. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, go on like this video. So no matter what, like the video, drop a comment on some of the Favorite things you do to get your hair nice and silky, nice and laid. Uh, I would, no, nah, I'm gonna unrag, you know what I'm saying? I cut long my crown, like I said, because I wanted to fix it up real nice. And it, was, it wasn't doing what I wanted to do. So I decided to cut low on the crown a little bit. But I still wanna show y'all my hair right now because I'm at a one open. I just cut a one open three days ago. And I, I think it's pretty, I think it's pretty silky. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's turn the light up a little bit and, and, and see if it's silky enough for y'all. Like I said, cut a little low in these trouble spots. Fixing these angles, you're gonna see when I'm done. But this video is about silky way. All right, now, like I said, make sure you comment, tell me what are some, you know, procedures, methods, anything you use to get your hair silky. Share it with the people, you know what I'm saying? Y'all converse in the comments. And check out Coarse Hair King. Shout out to my brother, Siraj SB.Tunes for the music. Man, 
all that, you know what I'm saying? Hey, appreciate y'all for checking this video out. Now, go brush. Go get y'all them silky ways, man. Go do that. Peace.